on the Ballon d'Or, but everyone claims it's rigged. So I put 16 of the best players into one tournament because I want to find out who really is the best in the world. Starting with Messi vs Benzema, and just like the World Cup final, it's a penalty shootout. Lionel Messi's up first, can he take the lead? Messi goes 1-0 up. Can Benzema match it to level the scorings? Yes, he can. Messi scored his next penalty, however, Benzema Schmeichel saves! Messi wasn't messing around, but the same couldn't be said about Benzema. And with the chance to win it, he's missed it! But with Benzema needing to score, Schmeichel saves, which means Messi progresses. Now up next, we have Haaland. This the only defender Virgil van Dijk. However, to make it more interesting, the challenges are now decided by this wheel. So what are Haaland and van Dijk going to be competing in? It's going to be a free kick battle. Van Dijk kills it like Beckham. What? And just like Beckham, he almost delivered. He's rattled the post. Both players were starting to find their range, but it was van Dijk who struck first. Van Dijk! What a big with Van Dijk taking the lead, Haaland needed to react and he had one big issue. And before he knew it, Van Dijk struck again. And there's number two for Van Dijk. However, pressure makes diamonds and here came Haaland. Finally, Haaland scored. Now with the momentum finally in his favor, something unexpected happened. The match has been abandoned! So I guess Van Dyke wins it, the game's <laughs> over, he progresses. Oh, we got Vinicius versus Cristiano Yay. Ronaldo. The past versus present, how is it gonna be decided? You guys are gonna be decided. The vote is up, we'll see who's the winner once all around the 16 start. The winner of those two will be facing Lewandowski or Luka Modric in the quarterfinals. And it's gonna land on Stat Wars. I've got both their highest rated cards. And this is a wheel with every in-game stat. Whoever has the highest stat gets a point. The first of three points progresses. Stat number one is who has the highest dribbling. Okay, Lewandowski has 91 dribbling. And Luka Modric only has 90. It's 1-0 lower. Stat number two is agility with Modric humiliating Lewandowski. And with stat number three, being interceptions, there was only going to be one winner. Lewandowski needs this. Jump in. I think Lewandowski has a chance. Lewandowski, 96, jump in. Modric, come outside. 77 is too old. Winner takes all with his final point, and it's going to be their reactions. Lewandowski, 98 reactions. There's no way, surely. Modric, 91. Lewandowski comes back and goes for Two of the best forwards in world football, Mbappe vs Salah is up next. It's gonna be decided by one-on-ones. Whoever scores the most out of five attempts wins, however, they're gonna be shooting on manual. Mbappe with his first attempt! Oh mate, how am I gonna score this? Maybe Mo Salah can do a bit better than Mbappe! Mo Salah has! He's taken the lead! Mbappe learned from his previous attempt and equalized. However, after that, both players kept missing and it was quickly their final attempt. Mbappe, you have to score. You could be going out. Mbappe, just about off the bar and in. Mo Salah now has to score. Mo Salah, he's put it wide. Mbappe has knocked out Salah in the first round and he'll be facing either Kane or Leao. Who will be the quickest to score? Harry Kane is up first. Whilst my opponent's team was intimidating, this is Harry Kane, and it only took him two attempts on goal until... Kane! Harry Kane! 19 minutes and 7 seconds! But can Rafael Leao beat that? Surely he won't be able to manage beating it straight from kickoff? Wait! He's actually doing it! That's phenomenal! Leo! Oh, he's bottled it! The warning signs are there, and here he comes again. He's one-on-one! -on -one. Raphael! Leo! 
he doesn't miss this time. And that goal ends Harry Kane's Ballon d'Or hopes as Raphael Leao progresses. Now from one England player to the next is Bellingham versus Neymar. How is it going to be decided with the two of them though? It's going to be a Volta 3v3. And it's underway, who's going to go through? It didn't take both players long to come close, but it was Bellingham's team who took the advantage. Squares it to Vinicius! It's 1-0 to Bellingham's team! And shortly after, in went the second goal. Now, with only one more goal needed, Neymar showed why he's in Saudi, and Team Bellingham completed the sweep. Vinicius ends it for Bellingham! Neymar got humiliated as Bellingham progresses. The final round of 16 game, Osimhen up against the favourite Harry Maguire. And how's it gonna be decided? Whichever player can register the hardest shot. Maguire! That looked like a rocket! Sadly, goals in the box don't register and it has to be scored outside the box. And this took far too long. Finally! That looked like a rocket! 120 miles an hour! Surely with Osimhen, it should be easier. At least that's what I thought. I hate this challenge! Finally! Osimhen, it's about time! 116! Which means... Harry Maguire has made it into the quarterfinals! That's all around the 16 games, but we still need to find out one thing. It's quite some time later, and as expected, Ronaldo wins. And these are all the quarter finalists. So let's kick things off with Messi versus Van Dijk. Messi's looking to retain his Ballon d'Or crown, but to do that, he's going to have to beat Van Dijk at blindfolded penalties. Penalty number one, Messi, will he score it? Oh, Messi has scored it! If I can do it again, I'm actually a god. Virgil van Dijk, can you score? Apparently not. Somehow, Messi managed to score again. Messi has back two for two! And even van Dijk found the net. Van Dijk's pulled one back! They both continued scoring until Messi hit one of the worst penalties you'll ever see. Van Dijk took full advantage, but now a miss from either of them could be the end. This is a huge penalty for Messi. Can he score it? Lionel Messi does score it. Virgil van Dijk has to score this, so he's going out. Van Dijk has missed it. Messi wins on penalties yet again and is the first into the semi-finals. And his biggest rival, Ronaldo versus Lewandowski, is up next. Whoever's the quickest to score. This time the goal has to be scored from outside the box. Ronaldo's here to set a statement and become the best in the world once more. And after 26 minutes, he proved why he's one of the best. Ronaldo! Ronaldo finds the net after 26 minutes and 43 seconds. Lewandowski needs this if he finally wants the label of the best player in the world. After that near miss, he made the next one count. Lewa! There's the goal! 26-43 was the time to beat, and he did not, which means Ronaldo will face Messi in the semi-finals. Mbappe's knocked out one amazing winger, but can he do it again? So let's see what challenge is awaiting them. And it's gonna be a Volta 1v1. And it's underway, who's gonna be the winner? It was all Mbappe from the beginning, having two incredible chances, but it was Leao who capitalized from a Donnarumma mistake. What's Donnarumma doing? He's just gifted it to Leao. But then it was my nan's turn to return the favor to Mbappe. Mbappe tackles the keeper on Mbappe. He's leveled it! I went on to miss two amazing chances. But thankfully, he redeemed himself off another Donnarumma mistake. 
Liao was tackled Donnarumma, and this time he does score. And he put the nail in the coffin, making it 3-1. And it's all over. Liao knocks out one of the favourites, Mbappe. Now to the All England quarterfinal, Bellingham vs Harry Maguire. One England player has to be eliminated, but who's this challenge gonna favour? Neither of them who can keep the longest clean sheet. And to make it harder, this is their team. Bellingham has a huge test. And I wish my sword was that big. There's two of them, I didn't even realise that. But that didn't help me. Oh, oh, we're winning! Though it was only a matter of time until their chances came and with some crucial defending and a bit of luck, Bellingham survived the threat. Then we were blessed with a miracle. We got a pen, yes! And I couldn't stop myself from producing a cold moment. Ice cold! Bellingham keeps a clean sheet! Maguire now has to keep a clean sheet. Can the bronze lads do it? Oh, we're 1-0 up again! You genuinely can't make up what happens next. <gasps> it's a penalty! Nah, you can't write this, but I am writing it! Look at that! Yeah, they're not leaving like the last one, though. So we kept pushing forward, trying to score another with our defenders and Maguire putting everything on the line. But despite all his efforts, his journey came to an end. Maguire, no! It's all over. The dream is over. Anyway, we have our four semi-finalists. Who's going to be crowned the greatest player in the world? The first semi-final, let's go with Leao versus Bellingham. And it's gonna land on most assists. The player with the most assists for their team claims a spot in the final. And things got off to a terrible start for Leao. Thankfully, Leao had a hidden baller up top. This is your chance! Oh, what a beauty! And despite our defense being completely useless, we continued to create chances. He has a chance again to square that! There's number two! Leo finds him! Hey! It is number three! And it's a hat trick for this guy! And it's all over! Leo finishes on three assists. Will Bellingham be able to perform a miracle to beat it? Just like Leo, it didn't start well. However, the bronze baller won't be stopped. Oh, there's one for Bellingham! And even though we conceded again, Bellingham showed why he's potentially the best player in the world and nobody will stop him. He's ran all the pitch! Bellingham with another assist! He's through. Bellingham! Bellingham's got three assists in the first half! Needing only one more goal to progress, it was inevitable. There's the fourth! Bellingham is in the final! But now, it's Messi versus Ronaldo. And it's gonna be a Volta one-on-one. -on -one. It's underway. Who's gonna be in the final with Bellingham? Messi straight away started on the front foot, rinsing Ronaldo not once, but twice. He's mugged him again, and Messi hits first. With the luck of the goalkeeper, he almost made it two, but Ronaldo was soon through on goal to level the score. What has he done? After that crucial miss, the ref prevented any further damage. And he flew off as soon as he was about to shoot. Ronaldo came out fast in the second half and after a beautiful ball, he was through on goal once again. Ronaldo to level it, what a save! But he buries the rebound. He had the chance to take the lead, but it was Messi who made the most of his chances. He can't miss, surely Messi! He doesn't miss! Ronaldo has one final chance before the whistle, he needs to score. With 20 seconds left, he needs this! What a save! And he's missed! That miss means... It's all over! Lionel Messi has knocked out Ronaldo and is meeting Bellingham in the final to decide who's the best player in the world. And there's only one way to decide this, and we're not using the wheel. It's a sudden death penalty shootout. Jude Bellingham to kick things off. He has to find the net. He does find the net. Lionel Mercy, does he have what it takes? He does. 
Bellingham, if he keeps scoring, he'll make history. He does score again. Each time Messi steps up, he has to score. And Messi has missed it. Which means Jude Bellingham has won it all, becoming the best footballer in the world. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of mine, check another one out by here and remember to subscribe.